Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Trouble Free. In today's video, we are going to learn about principles of organization. What are the principles? What are the main uh, things that an organization has to follow, that an organization has to implement? Uh, I'm going to tell you all in this video and the number 12 here is nothing but we have uh, 12 um, principles of organization. Okay, so let's learn about each of them in this video. So the first one is principle of objective. What do you mean by this principle of objective means every organization should have a common objective or you can also say every organization should have a common goal and the organization has to work towards achieving that goal. Okay. And guys, one more thing I'm telling you, if you get this question in the exam, just don't write all these side headings, which I have written in here and come. Okay. Just try to elaborate each and everything. Just write principle of objective and uh, uh, write uh, in the next line, you write uh, every organization should have a common goal and every organization should work hard to um, achieve that common goal and should plan like that. You can write something about that. Okay. What you understood here, just write there. Okay. Done. And the second is um, principle of special specialization so what do you mean by principle of specialization in the sense every person should be given work in the organization uh, you should allocate work to each and every person based on their skill set and their specialization so if a person is good at um, java he should be given a job related to java not a job which is related to some other thing okay so uh, in whichever sector in, in whichever uh, skill the particular person is specialized that only has to be allocated okay and the next comes the principle of coordination so what do you mean by principle of coordination simply you can say coordination should be there among workers like what they are doing what is their next plan and all that planning and everything should be there among the workers not just randomly uh, one person will do one thing and the other person will do something it's not like that coordination should be there between the workers okay and the fourth one is authority and responsibility principles of a uh, principle of authority and responsibility uh, principle of authority and responsibility is nothing but every person uh, has an authority to do the work right every person should do the work and in case if they are not able to do the work in case if they want to go on leave or in case they are, are not feeling well then they can hand over that responsibility to other person and whenever if the other person fails to do the work then not only the other person the person who has handed over the responsibility also should answer okay they are both of them are accountable for not doing the work the person who has and handed over and the person who took over it both of them are accountable okay so that is about authority and responsibility the next comes the balance so uh, principle of balance means how much work a person can do how much work uh, like it depends on the person to person right if you uh, for, for a starting fresher if you give the complete work if you give so much of work he or she really can't do because they are not exposed to work environment they are really new to that environment and they'll take some time to get settled over there right so how much work a person can do you should give work depending on their capabilities only okay now balance is done next comes the continuity so what do you mean by continuity in the sense uh, the organization is dynamic right it's not static daily new challenges will be coming daily new projects will be coming so everything will be dynamic so according to that we have to keep on changing okay done so it's not like i know only this skill set i will just stick on to this i know only this i can do this in our uh, office we will not accept these kind of projects it's not like that you should be dynamic you should be uh, willing to face a new challenge every day and for that you need to continuously adopt yourself you need to you need to come continuously update yourself with that okay so that is about continuity the next comes the uniformity uniformity is again nothing but simply it is almost similar to balance but in case of uniformity what we say is uh, every work should be distributed to each and every person equally it's not like one person will be given the entire work and the other two persons will be sitting just enjoying their work it's not like that uniformly work should be distributed to all the people in the office all the people in the organization okay here if i mean the word office or company or anything it's it's related to organization okay now the next is unity of command unity of command we've already learned in other theory as well see all the theories are almost similar to each other but the terminologies are a bit different that's all and in unity of command it's again simple only 
one boss you should follow the instructions only from one boss and you should be answerable to that one boss only you cannot have two bosses at the same time when you have two bosses at the same time you should do the work given by the boss one and boss two right in that case you cannot justify to any of the work and it becomes confusion for you right so and we have some more let's see principle of exception what do you mean by principle of exception means top management top management should come into picture only if something is going wrong or if there is some mistake or if there is some conflict then only top management has to involve otherwise for each and every small thing top management should not be called to involve because they will ob already have a lot of work decision making work everything will be on their head right again if you call them for each and every small task they get irritated they cannot even properly concentrate on what they are doing so that is the reason why top management should be called upon only on exceptional cases that is when something is wrong in that cases okay and the principle of simplicity principle of simplicity is nothing but the organization structure should be very simple so that everybody will be able to understand everybody can really understand that better and can perform better by looking at that structure organization structure should be in that way okay very simple and efficiency principle of efficiency so what do you mean by principle of efficiency in the sense whatever you are doing whatever you are producing whatever outcome you are bringing it it should be done in the minimum possible cost so everybody can do business but the person who will do it in less uh, span of time who can do it with minimum cost will succeed right so minimum in minimum span and in minimum cost they have to not span span is span is not very important but cost Uh, the output or the outcome should be in a minimum cost it should be efficient it should be effective okay and the last principle is principle of span of control so what do you mean by span of control uh, principle of span of control uh, what it says is how many subordinates can be supervised by a supervisor how, for a single supervisor how many subordinates you can give for a single person giving 10000 employees is foolishness right obviously that single person cannot handle all 10000 employees so obviously uh, you should give at least 100 or 1000 like that you should divide and uh, how many members that supervisor can handle those many people only have to be allotted to him because if you allot more people the supervisor cannot look at them and the people also will miss guidance right so span of control means how many subordinates can be supervised by a supervisor you should set a limit for that you should set a policy for that and based on that policy only you should be giving the uh, subordinates to the supervisor okay so this is about the principles of organization i hope this video is useful for you i hope whatever i spoke in this video you understood that and that's all for this video guys um, thanks for watching the video if you're still having any doubts let me know in the comment section i'll definitely clarify all your doubts for sure and let's meet up soon in the next coming video with another topic and till then stay tuned to my channel and also let me know in the comment section if you want any topics or any suggestions let me know that in the comment section <laughs>